Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to manage your sidebar and also your footer uh, in the widgets area. Okay, so I'm on my test site here and I'm in the WordPress administration area. Now first of all I just want to go over exactly where I'm talking about when I say the sidebar and the footer. So I am on um, the front end view of my website here and as you can see I've got a two column layout on my website. So the first column is where the content is just here in the about area and then the second column over on the right here is my sidebar. Um, so all of these elements within the sidebar are actually called widgets and they're completely editable by you um, from the WordPress administration panel. So you can remove uh, a widget if you don't want it there. You can change the title of the widget. Um, you can add different widgets in if you want to. There's quite a lot of options that you can do with that. And down the very bottom of the site, we've also got a footer here as well. So if your website has a footer, this is this is the area that you'll find it in. I mean, not all, all sites will have a footer. And again, we're looking at widgets for this area as well, each of the different elements. For instance, where I've got this test uh, element here about Jenny, which is an author widget. Um, that's what it is. It's a widget. Okay, so let's go back into our WordPress administration area. Okay, so in order to get to the part where you manage your widgets, you go down the left-hand side of your WordPress administration panel, down to Appearance, and then from the sub-menu, select Widgets. Okay, so in the middle area here, you've got the widgets that are available for you to use. So as you can see, you've got quite a lot of options here. And if you want, to be honest, you can't do a lot of harm. Again, I, I, I always say that because it's the truth. Um, you know, you can add a new widget on and then you can just remove it if you don't like it. So experiment and see, you know, what, what options you've got and what works for your website. Okay, over on the right here, um, we've got uh, a couple of different areas. So first of all, the sidebar is made up of this primary area here and also the secondary. So if you have a website that's got a three column layout, so you will have your content area and then you'll actually have two sidebars. This is where you would manage your second sidebar, the secondary area. That's not going to be available on all templates and chances are, I mean, it's not very common, so you might not even have one of those anyway, but if you do, this is where you would manage it. I'm going to concentrate on the primary area in this uh, video tutorial because that's the most common. So if I just expand that using the arrow on the right there, I can see that in my primary area, which is my only sidebar, I have three widgets. So I've got the Woo Subscribe Connect widget, I've got the Tag Cloud, and I've also got the recent posts. So first of all, let me show you how to change the title of those. So let's just say in Tag Cloud, I want to change the label on that uh, to be Hot Topics. So to open that up, I will use the arrow on the right hand side. And as you can see, the title here is Tag Cloud. So I can just literally type over that and I'm going to type Hot Topics. Okay, and then if I save that, that's actually going to change the title of my widget now. So if I just go back out to the front end, you can see, there we go, Hot Topics instead of Tag Cloud. So I'm going to use the back button to go straight back to where we were. So that's editing your titles. You can do that with the Subscribe Connect, which I think a lot of you will be using this. So this is your mailing list opt-in. You can change the newsletter in here if you wanted to. Um, you can change which pages it's displayed on etc etc. There's quite a lot of functionality there. Now let's just say I didn't actually want my recent posts displayed on the sidebar. So if I wanted to remove a widget, all I would do is literally drag and drop. So if I pick up the recent posts here on the right and I can drag, drag and drop back into the middle into the pool of the non-active widgets and you can see over on the right hand side I now have only two widgets in my sidebar. So I can actually add widgets in just as easily. So let's just say I wanted to add the recent comments widget. So if I pick that up from my middle pool here of the widgets that are available for use, I can drag and drop over onto my right hand sidebar and I can give that a title as well. So let's just say comments and then I'm going to click save. And then if I go to view my site, and we can see, there we go, there's the comments. 
Okay, so I'm going to click back to go straight back into the widgets area. So that's your sidebar. This is where you're going to be um, editing all of your sidebar widgets. Now I'm going to move on to the footer. So depending on the setup of your website, um, it really depends on how many elements you've got available in the footer. Um, if you're using Canvas theme, you've got up to four areas for the widgets. So if you have set it up so that you have four slots available for widgets on the bottom, you will actually see a fourth one here. But as we can see in this template, I'm only using three. So I've got footer one, footer two, and footer three area. And I do have room for one widget in each. In fact, I can put two, but it just means it's going to make it a lot um, larger and it's going to make the page scroll down more. So as you can see here, I've got my, my footer widget and the first one is my about author um, blog author info. So if I wanted to change uh, that from about Jenny to say about the company, there we go, I can update that and save that. So I've just changed the title on my footer. Um, just as you would manage the sidebar, you can easily manage the footer in terms of dragging and dropping. Uh, so if I wanted to take my mailing list opt-in off the second um, slot for the footer um, widget, I can do that by picking it up and dragging it out into the middle. And then if I wanted to put something else into there, for instance, I wanted to link up uh, a little gallery that's linked to my Flickr account, I can pick up the Woo Flickr and I can drag and drop over to the footer to area and just say photos. Obviously I haven't got my ID on me immediately in this video, but you would actually go through and get your ID to link that to your Flickr account. But that's basically just a quick demonstration of how you would add a different uh, widget to your footer. And that's it. Uh, you don't need to save once you've, you've edited those. It, it all saves automatically. So if I go back out now, you can see I've now got my Flickr um, widget down on the bottom here. So there we have it, managing your sidebar and your footer.